2000 on an X Honda Accord Coupe here, quite a rare car with it being a coupe. It's the 2 litre VTEC petrol automatic gearbox in silver, nice and fresh looking on this. Bodywork wise, we're going to start off with the bonnet, work our way around onto the interior, and then we'll go for a nice cold engine start up. So, up the bonnet itself, nice and straight up the bonnet there. No big dings, no dents, a few little stone chips, a little bit of paint flake on the washer jet there. And it could do with a little bit of polish. I want it a little bit flat in place. It's just not, not, not as shiny as the rest of the car, basically, on the bonnet there, but it is all nice and tidy. A few little stone chips, but that's all to worry about. Headlight, crystal clear on the left-hand side, bumper corner unmarked, no scuffs, no scrapes. A little bit of a scratch at the top there, if you're going to be that harsh. A few little stone chips across the front edge, but that is all to complain about on there. Got a tiny little bit of paint flake just by the on the valance there where it meets that lower valance onto the bumper. And again, right hand side, no scuffs, no scrapes. Headlight is crystal clear once again. Working our way around the driver's wing, we've got lovely, slightly darker silver wheels all the way around. Really finish this one off. A little bit of a scratch on the front wing there. Very, very light. A polish would get rid of that, I would think. Nice and tidy around the whole front wing. No rust coming through on the paint side of things on the wing. Down and across the lower half of the sill section, all nice and silver still. No nasty black short lines anywhere. And as you come up the driver's door, again, nice and tidy. Big door as well. Loving straight for a big door. That's no dings, no dents. That and see, no nasty scratches. Wing right caps on cracked on both sides. We've got a little bit of sort of lacquer peel. Very, very small amount of lacquer peel at the top edge there. You don't really notice it because of where it is. Down the back of the door, a little bit of a chip out the back of the door, but no heavy scratching around the handle. We'll quickly do the roof now. And again, across the roof, lovely and tidy across the roof. No, uh, no rips, no dings or dents. No corrosion around the sunroof anywhere. Quite a little bit of a sort of paint reaction across the front edge there. I don't even think the camera will pick it up. It's just a little bit hazy towards there uh, from the middle towards the left-hand side. And again, on the back left-hand side, there's another sort of two circles of rings there. You can see the sort of little bubbling around it. But again, under these lights... Uh, you do notice it, but anywhere else, I don't think you would. A little bit across the back as well there. You can just see the edge there coming across like that and down. Apart from that, nice and straight. Down the rear quarter, nice and tidy on the rear quarter. A little bit of corrosion starting at the bottom, still underneath the paint, no, not bad at all. And around the arch, nice and tidy. Lovely and straight down that whole rear quarter. Going round to the left, uh, right-hand side, sorry, bumper corner again. Lovely and tidy, no rips, no tears. With this lovely little lower valance on the sides there. Nice and cleaning. The exhaust all nice and silver. Still nice and shiny. Stainless steel exhaust by the looks of that. Across the back light there. No cracks in those. Lovely and crystal clear all the way across the back. Boot in itself. Nice and tidy all the way across. No heavy scratching in the paint. Spoilers good as well with no lack appeal. Across the back bumper itself. Got the odd little tiny, tiny stone chip. One or two. And that's all to complain about. And again... No scuffs or scrapes on that left-hand side bumper corner there. Coming down the rear quarter, nice and tidy again. Unmarked wheel on the back there. And around the rear arch, lovely and straight. Very, very small amount again at the bottom. Small amount at the bottom of the left-hand side rear quarter. Nice and tidy across the rear quarter. No heavy scratching around the fuel filler cap, anything like that. Coming down onto the door, left-hand side again. No dings, no dents. For such a long coupe, uh, it's really nice and straight down both sides. No heavy scratching around the handle and no nastiness towards the back of the door there. And again, wing wear cap is uncracked on both sides, no scuffs, no scrapes. Down the front of the door onto the front wing there. I've noticed got two very, very small parking dents on the very top of the wing. Again, didn't notice them from the front, just got them at the right angle from the rear there. And again, around that front arch, no corrosion coming through. Loving straight and tidy down the left hand side. Interior wise, got the black leather, very, very comfy in here. Door card itself is as driver's side, lovely and tidy, no rips or tears. N not too much wear at all, a little bit of wear to the grab handle, the odd light scratch on the door there, but that's all nice and tidy around the wood on the window switches and your mirror switches. Uh, heated electric seats in this one. Nice and tidy on the drivers. A little bit of a nick out the bolster there. I think it's had a bit of a previous repair on the bolster and a little bit, a little bit softer underneath there. But apart from that, nice and tidy. No cracks to the plastics there. You've got your grey mats underneath as well, which are all nice and clean. I'll just pull these while we're in here. 
steering wheel, nice and tidy, a little bit of wear to the side, but the right amount of wear for the gear and the mileage. A little bit of wear to the armrest, I can see a bit of creasing. Up the centre console, nice and tidy. Aftermarket head unit fitted there. Dials are lovely and clear, easy to read. No cracks across the dashboard anywhere. Nice and tidy all the way around. Headlining unmarked around the sunroof, no damp patches or anything like that. Both seats folding forward, which I will show you. So this is the right hand side rear, no rips, no tears, no unwanted marks at all on the rear seats and still plenty of room even with the seat back. Onto the boot. Nice big boot. Goes all the way forward that one, nice and tidy in there. Got the boot floor there, spare wheels there, your little tool bags there as well. All nice and tidy in the boot floor. Left hand side front. Again, door card, no rips, no tears on the door card. Nice and clean and tidy on the door card there. And no cracks on the dashboard from the left hand side. The seat itself on the passenger side showing minimal wear really to the bolster. All nice and tidy across the rest of the seat there on the left hand side. And again, folding forward as it should. And nice and tidy to the seats from the left hand rear. Like I say they are, they are heated. Uh, the driver's one's electric, the passenger one is manual. We go onto the engine bay now. Once I find the latch with a bit of dod dodgy camera work while I put the, the bonnet stay in. There we go. And then we have a two litre Honda VTEC there. Lovely and tidy in the engine bay as well. I'm going to fire it into life here. Without hesitation, firing straight into life, nice and smooth on the tick over, no ticking or rattling or tapping. No complaints about that at all there. And there you have it, the 2000 on an X Honda Accord Coupe there in silver.